Have you been replacing the same motor over and over again? Do you work in a severe duty application? Chances are you need an IEEE 841 electric motor. Hi, I'm Keith from eMotors Direct, and today we're covering the most frequently asked questions about IEEE 841 motors. If you're looking for the most robust motor on the market, this is it. Stay tuned. So what does IEEE 841 mean in regard to electric motors? The IEEE 841 standard was created in the 80s for severe duty applications. Due to the extra mechanical stress and contamination these motors encountered in the oil and gas and chemical industries, motors were failing quickly, leading to downtime. The IEEE 841 standard was introduced to outline reliability, efficiency, and performance requirements for these tougher applications. It's like comparing your family minivan to an armored car. The armored car can handle a lot more abuse, but the minivan will work fine for less severe scenarios. We can think of general purpose motors and IEEE 841 motors as a similar comparison. What are the specifications of IEEE 841 motors? These motors are trusted to perform in the harshest conditions, so they have specific requirements. As of most recent update published in 2021, these are the most notable specifications set out by IEEE 841 standard. Motors labeled IEEE 841 must meet these requirements. However, some IEEE 841 motors exceed these standards. They're built to keep contaminants out. All IEEE 841 motors are at least IP55. This means the enclosure is built to keep dust out and keeps water from low pressure jets from entering the motor and contaminating the lubrication. The exteriors are corrosion resistant due to epoxy paint and the interior windings are tropicalized to protect against humidity and fungus. And the enclosures are either TEFC or TENV versus an ODP enclosure where dust and water may enter the motor. These things are built to last. They come with a standard five year warranty. It's very seldom that I've seen a warranty claim on an IEEE 841 motor. Most general purpose motors have a one, two, or three year warranty. General purpose motors may be built with aluminum, rolled steel, or cast iron. Whereas IEEE 841 motors are required to be built with a heavy duty cast iron construction. General purpose motors will have either class A, class B, or class F insulation. However, IEEE 841 motors require a minimum class F insulation, meaning the winding insulation is much less likely to fail in heavy duty applications. These windings are suitable for use with VFD, meaning the motor is inverter duty. These are rated for class one division two areas because a lot of these are used in petrochemical applications. They have a maximum surface temperature of 200 degrees Celsius and a non-sparking fan. On the off chance, they come into contact with the hazardous materials that could ignite. These are some of the standout features of the IEEE 841 motors, but I've linked the full list in the description for your reference. I've gotten this question a few times. Are IEEE 841 motors and explosion proof motors the same? These are two separate classifications of motors. IEEE 841 motors are often used in class one division two applications. Explosion proof motors are required for class one division one applications. IEEE 841 motors don't have the essential flame paths that explosion proof motors have. It's also worth clarifying, a motor labeled as severe duty is not necessarily an IEEE 841 motor. Severe duty is an unofficial broad category of motors. IEEE 841 is its own specific class of motor, but is often categorized under the broad umbrella of severe duty. If you're in the market for an IEEE 841 motor, give our team at eMotors Direct a call. Thanks for tuning in, take care.